the wonderful world of YouTube. Another uh, mariachi guitar video, uh, Arriba Pichataro. We're gonna do the uh, the uh, cobre arrangement today. Well, I'm gonna try not to mess it up, so we'll see how it goes. One more time. <laughs> about this song so if you're watching for just the cover portion that's done if you want to stick around for the tutorial portion uh, I'm just going to kind of go over the uh, intro to the guitar and viola solo so this is Cobre's arrangement is kind of how they recorded it and you know I, I've seen people play it different ways there's a couple of things that folks do in that intro and they just do a lot of redobles or they'll just do go straight into it um, the way that this recording had it is as far as I can remember from being a kid playing it and just listening to it. So the intro starts with a guitar, ba -da -da, right? That's a, that's what I remember doing when I was a kid. That's how I think they play. I don't know. Now, one thing that I, I've heard other folks uh, who maybe don't never learn this part of the arrangement, they'll do. I've heard people do that. That's fine, I guess. It's just one solid beat, right? The way that they played it and recorded it is a little bit different. It's not just one solid thing. It's a kind of a break in time. That. Right? It's that transition on D7. that goes and breaks this part down uh, so I figured I'd do it on guitar so <clears throat> that's pretty much it right. that's how I see a lot of people play that the recording All right it's very specific part of D7, it doesn't follow the same pattern. Uh, and the solo itself, right? The down, 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 right? There's a redoble in there.
So it's all down strums except for the real quick, right? You'll recognize that because that's part of the intro to La Negra, right? It's the same basic exercise, but you're doing all downs. Sometimes you have sones like uh, like this one. Sometimes even like I think there's slaps in Viva Veracruz where um, the Torrito has slaps in in between. Uh, yeah, they're fun. They're cool. They're what Pato used to do. So hey, why not? That's another part. Is the you know the the rastiado, right? The that's when you're doing instead of doing just. You're playing it up strong with your thumb with the rest. Right? That's why it's important to have the up strong just as good as the down strong. Right? I'm doing two strums there. Uh, yeah, I think that's about it. You know, I was doing this for a video, I was going over the music, and I'm like, shit, I don't remember the intro to the guitar and viola solo, so it took me a little while to remember it, and then just listening to the recording over again. It's about as complicated as it gets. Uh, the solo, again, a lot of downstrums. I see people do that, right? So you, if you're going to do all, uh, um, you know, 16 notes. If you're on guitar, it's a little challenging, or even on the weather or guitar, it's challenging. You want to make sure you don't do this. Don't do that. That sounds like shit. Right? Play all the strings. If you're going to play the down strums, which aren't really there, the accents. Right? Most people just play all the way through. seen a lot of people doing a lot of cool stuff with that song. The biggest thing is just, you know, if the intro, right? Uh, right? I see people really mess that up like I just did. Uh, it's pretty simple the way that Cobra did it, so you don't have to do too much complicated stuff there. Right? The trick is playing that in time as fast as they're playing it. pretty much it for Arriba Pichataro, the Mariachi Cobre arrangement version, and uh, yeah, hope you guys like this, subscribe, like, uh, all that kind of fun usual stuff, uh, if you guys want, I'm actually bought equipment so I can start live streaming some of this stuff, so if you want to interact, you know, I would, I would be more than happy to, you know, put live streams up and people can do chats and all that kind of fun stuff and just, you know, have, have the guitar, have open questions, have open dialogue, that's really what YouTube is kind of more being about these days, is just getting people to intergage, inter, intergage, interact, I can't even speak in English, interact with their audience, and so if you guys like, subscribe so you get notified, because YouTube doesn't notify you guys about any of the videos I post, unless you're subscribed by a little bell thing, I think it's like, where is it, right, right, right there, or am I backwards, somewhere along this line there's a little sub not notification button, click on that. What that also does for me is it lets me know what you guys like and watch. I actually took a look at my analytics the other day and I found that like majority of the people that watch my videos aren't even subscribed. So I'm like, okay, that's odd. If they're searching for me, why don't you just subscribe so you get all the, whatever. Do whatever you want. It's YouTube. I really don't care. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks for those who are subscribed, who like and comment and say all kinds of cool, fun, positive stuff. 
yeah guys we'll see you guys in the next video later